Hello everyone, this is Jacek. Today I would like to show you a quick and easy method for face contouring using touch and burn method and applying some makeup techniques. So if you don't know what face contouring is, just Google it and go to Google Images. You will see a lot of examples of before and after contouring. And in simple terms, it's applying highlights and shadower or bronzer or something that it's darker than the highlighter uh, to a face to a specific areas and then blending them uh, with the smooth edges so that you have like something like a mask and of course by the examples of face contouring you can also see that you should apply face contouring in different areas for different face shapes but we will do the digital version of what makeup artists artists do and we will cr start with creating a blank layer just simply click the blank layer icon in the bottom right corner we will change the blending mode of this layer to soft light you can also use overlay but overlay has a harsher effect than soft light so we will use soft light let's rename this to contour and now what we need to do is just simply take our regular brush and reset our colors by clicking the D shortcut. This will activate the black and white foreground and background colors and you can switch between them either by clicking those arrows or by clicking the X key. And with this layer activated in soft light blending mode, when you brush in black but uh, first of all I have my opacity and flow set to both 50% so if I draw in black I will be darkening and if I draw in white I will be lightening some areas which is a typical dodge and bird method but used in one of many possible ways you can use a gray layer for dodging and burning you can use a blank layer with soft light, you can use uh, two curves, one for highlights, one for shadows, whatever you like, but this is a quite uh, quick and easy method for only with this layer in soft light. So let's start with darkening some areas and usually makeup artists like to darken the forehead a little bit. It doesn't have to be pretty, just needs to be applied. Uh, also, let's accentuate the shadows along the nose and we want, uh, want to also, of course, accentuate those cheeks. Sometimes for more elongated face, makeup artists also put some shadow on the bottom of the chin. Okay, so now we have our darker parts applied. It looks crazy, but bear with me. Now we switch to the white brush simply by clicking the x sign and now what we need to do is simply put some highlighter along the nose on the forehead let's do some triangles underneath the eyes and something above the lip and on the chin and now if we go before and after you can see how ridiculous it looks but what we need to do now is Go to filter, blur and choose Gaussian blur and okay let's lower the radius so we can see the transition because you already saw <laughs> the effect with the maximum blur. If you increase the blur slightly you can see the moment when it starts making more sense than previously. So we need to apply a lot of burn uh, blur to this layer for very smooth transitions but we also need to have those areas quite visible okay so let's say that for this resolution i will pick somewhere around 100 radius and if we go before and after you can see that from a flat light we just switch to a very accentuated and defined face contouring. Now one issue that I have with this is that if you blur on the edges of the mask that we put 
you see that this also the burning layer also affects the hair above the forehead so what we can do now is uh, just deactivate this layer go to the background layer let's go select color range and just pick a skin color something that will give you the most coverage on the skin and let's increase the fuzziness so we can see the skin perfectly and the hair is blacked out so it will not affect the hair of course with a blonde hair type it would be harder to mask but we can always draw a circle around the face to mask it out let's click ok and we have our selection active if we now apply a mask by clicking this mask icon it will automatically apply our selection as a mask and if you press down alt or option key and click on the mask you will see what the mask looks like and now you can see that the white parts are revealing and the black parts are concealing so in this situation you can see that at the edge of the hair you do not see the effect anymore and it's only constrained to the face itself and of course by applying this on a new layer we have the possibility to lower the opacity if the effect is too strong so now if we zoom out zoom out a little bit we see that going from a flatter profile we have something really defined and really three-dimensional looking thank you for your time i hope that you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to be up to date on everything that i do I am trying to record more English videos and I hope to see you next time. Bye!